I go you in for the history because the history I like, you know. But then I find out, say, the man is my teacher, of course, now. In, we have a the part named Resistance and Revolt, which is about my favorite area. But then I find out there's a white bridge and I go lecture the course. I said, but I said, well, I can't do history, man. So I just switch from history right away because I can't see no white man I go teach I West Indian history because to home learn West Indian history of George's. And I'm very passionate. I don't think he can express that to I. Because I come from an extremely good history teacher, which is Miss Valerie Virgo. I tell you, I will teach me history for CXC and teach me history for my life. So I couldn't deal with that. But the next thing I like was economics. So I did my first degree and a master's in economics because I really like economics. However, in learning about economics and certain other disciplines, we find out now so the economics that we learn is not really about deal with Jamaica's problem. Because you know, it's in economics, there's an equation, you know. I will say Y, which is income, is equal to A, which is some intercept, things that ground you, plus beta, which represents the way things change, so it's a coefficient of x, i, x being the variable, which means the number of things that might manifest in an economy and things still, plus e, represents an error term and is the same thing as e to the i. Now, the first part of the equation, well-behaved, which is the formal economy. See? So you can do some estimates and things. The e to the i is the informal space. It's I that know because the jungle be going on, but I buy people in the informal economy. You know. And I can tell you something do you know that in economics, informal economy is so dynamic that it impacts the overall economy in a phenomenal way? But in trying to understand the, the formal economy, you know what we do in economics? We assume that on average, the error term, which is the informal economy, tend towards zero, which means it have no real effect, on, and there's a lie. But importantly, that is the part where I try to understand. Because it's my people that. And they come to me, I learn now. I know everything about the farmer space. And the place that, the thing that is most relevant to I know, is the part that the man and devil want to try to examine that. They must assume it away to zero. And guess what happens? Because I say, the latches scam is a part of the informal because it's illegal, you know. But you see, you see, it is the money from those informal activities, including remittances because some of it is illegal. And all uh, when the money by the street are also running a formal business. All of those monies go into the formal economy and come back out. If you want to check the data, go and look at what it's called the total factor productivity, which speaks to the rate at which inputs are converted into outputs and the GDP. And you will see that the Jamaican farm and economy has not grown over the past 50 years. The total factor of productivity follows the same pattern. So you ask yourself, where do we see all these material advancements then? Where it coming from? How does Jamaican economy look like this? Because we have a very vibrant informal economy. Some being legal and some being illegal. And that's where all the innovation in Jamaica actually come from. And then the man them adapt it and use it. So you find some companies now. Say we have one of the biggest companies in Jamaica is the, the lottery people. Yes, as a youth in the jungle, we usually play loody. We usually play card pack, a gamble with a gamble. We usually play bingo. And if police come and see we play bingo and card pack, it's beat them a try beat and lock you up. No, it has become formalized, making billions of dollars, contributing to things like the chase fund. But I show you, but there's an innovation come from. The man them always sell jerk chicken. A man have your eye more time police will come come mash up all the man jerk chicken pan and thing. But no, it becomes formalized. That's have a jerk chicken pan competition with big private companies sponsoring. A man usually have a, 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 a supermarket trolley with a tire rim where he uses a coal stove and have a big pot to sell American or soup. And a man that rushing about it and things still and now see man must sell American porridge in ready whatever. There's a man them thing them use in the same way. You may say, so it's thing we have to we check it. If you allow them to formalize them operations, you will see what happened in the country. Well, let me hear you say, 
mind.